Hello everybody, welcome back to the craft room. What it is, card Sunday. I just done this one. I was filming it. I had text messages and then the f the camera went off. I don't know why that that is. But I just made this. So I just cut out another one exactly the same and I just flipped the camera back on. Hopefully we shall do it together now. So what it is, I got a face card and this measures, not sure, can't remember, and it measures eight and a half by four and a quarter. So there you go. So that's your base card. Then I got a black piece, so I'm recording now. Then I got a black board with a white, quite a big uh, white border. Then I got this piece of paper and it's got that on the back. And I'm going to use that this time where I used that the last time. And I'm going to do it with this one this time. Why not? Then I add this. What did I do with it? Ooh, do do this from um, Altenew, and it come with stamps, a dies, and stencils. I haven't used the dies. I've used the stencils before, and I hadn't used the stamps before. And it's four, five layers. I think it was for the stamps. But you also get papers in there and the last time i used it i used the the papers that was in there and you could firstly cut the flowers out so that's what i did but today i used the stamps and i will show you you could cut the flowers out without using the stamps so without using the dye i mean you can use the dye but i didn't i just Cut them out and they're easy to do. So let's get a crack on with it before the so what you need you don't apps you don't need to use the stamp press but I I prefer to use this because you know you're gonna get a perfect it's easy to line up easy and then you get your full bit full base one first and you start off with your lightest colour of ink I got all the links lined it links all the inks lined up and they're all different makes it doesn't matter and I'm gonna pop that hope you can see yeah I'm gonna line that up in the corner and pick that up and I'm going to use the lightest of the pink, and this is one from Hobbycraft. And I'm going to ink that up. Hope everybody's okay, having a good day. And I'm going to just put my cloth, and it just helps to run over it, like so. That's lovely. I'm going to do it again just to darken it just a touch. Like so. That's better. And then I'm going to turn the paper upside down. And I'm going to stamp another one up this end. Save waste in that paper. on there yeah. it's quite light so do it again and this ink I've had in my stash for oh gosh I don't know how long and I don't think I ever used this ink either 
and I might go to one to be honest and I'm gonna press that out that's a bit darker I'm gonna put the lid on there and I've got a white coming off the white desk um, I have got a stamp cleaner but for quickness I just use the wet wipe get that and dry that off and then I get the next one which is this one and that one's going to be a bit drier than that one so I'm going to turn that my magnets on and easy to line up put this one on line them up pick that stamp up like that and then I'm going to go to the next it's a little bit darker than that one and I'm going to link this one up and I hope I'm filming I think it is and stamp that one out I'm just about to see it on top of that one I'm going to do it again that over again just to give us some oomph that's a bit better and I turn this paper over and stamp it again on this end with this colour Stamp that off and I'll do it again and I'll put more colours on him. Why not? Got it to use it. <laughs> it's better. Let's wash him on. Put the lid on there. I know I put my finger in it otherwise. Link that off. Like that. Oh, that's pretty. And I'll wipe that. And wipe that off. They come out really pretty. First time I've used the stamps. So uh, I'm well pleased with them and then I'm going to turn them around so that's going to be a bit drier than that end. So we go to the next step which is this one and line them up and they line up lovely and because they you can see through them you can see where they line up and go to the darker one. Stamp that. That's stunning. It's okay. And turn them around and do the same. Put that in that corner. And do the same again. For this one. Over there, and we stamp that. Oh, that's good. 
gorgeous. Beautiful. And then this one, oops, no daisy. It's got more delicate pieces in. And pop them up. And go the darkest one now. Like that. Oh, look at that. That's gorgeous. You know, I'm going to do pink. You can do any colours you want to do. But I thought the pink with that teal colour can bring this, pops it up. That's why I use the pinks. Look at that on there. That that's gorgeous. If I do say so myself. <laughs> there you go. And then this piece, this one, says the outline. I mean you can do it in black, you can do it any colour you want to do it. I mean you can do it in a Versa mark and emboss it. I just waft it over a bit because it's a bit damp. But I'll show you. Just line it up with the flower. Pick it up. I've used this metallic gold and it looks like it's been embossed when you've done it. It looks absolutely gorgeous. When I seen it, I thought, oh my gosh, it looks like it's been embossed. You could do it in black if you want, any any colour. I'm doing it in those gold. I just wiped it around. And look, I bring it up to the camera and you can see the glitter in the gold and it looks like it's been embossed it's absolutely gorgeous do it again on this one Turn the light back on. on this side oops that one okay and there you go i'm gonna just do that center one again because it's not oops it's okay but it's not no oh, that's my uh things on the floor That's better. And wipe that off. Just wipe that. that off. Like so. And then put that over there. Take them out. And they're ready. And as I said, you've got to die, you can die cut them, but they're just as easy. They're still a bit damp, so I'll only fuzzy cut one to show you how quick they are just to fuzzy cut around them. You have got leaves in their stamps as well, and you've got to die to cut the, to cut the leaves out. 
but there was a piece of paper with all the leaves on there so I was sat here earlier waiting for my uh, dinner to cook and I firstly cut a pile of leaves out to uh, I'd only cut the one out for a minute because I've you don't want to see me doing the other one do you and I already got two already cut Blue Peter style <laughs> and I'm gonna put some foam pads on the back oops of me flower like that my flowers my card back in and I'm just going to stick this piece down flat onto my black piece my knobble off I'm just going to glue it on I did put a tape on the red for this, but never mind. <laughs> and I'm going to pop this on. And it's just got a little border of the black. Like so. That's got more up there than that down there. Take it off. Put more on. <laughs> more than right. It wasn't right. It wasn't straight. I was straight. More on, more glue on. Okay, pop this down now. Pop it on straight. Mm. Keep it moving. Better. Better. That uh, wasn't straight. And as I said, I first cut the leaves. And I'm just going to stick this one down first. And I'm going to pop him on there. And then pop this flower on first. Okay. Pop him down. Okay. Pop him. He fell on there, so we'll put him that way then. He wanted to go that way, he said. Okay, there's an odd one. Pop 
This one. Not like that. And put this other flower on before I forget. You can go by there. And I got another couple of odd flower uh, leaves. Okay. Right there. And this one. In there. there you go. There you go. Move them. Put in there. And then I stamped out this stamp in. It is from the same stamp set. And it says, Hello, sweet friend. And I'm going to stick that on this one. I stuck it over there. To this one, I'm going to stick it over to this side. And I just give it a snake tongue. And I'm just going to stick that on flat. And put it up there. Yeah, I can put it up there. Like so. Then we got some gems. And I'm just going to pop on some gems here and there. No particular order. We'll have three. So we'll have one, two, three by right there. And then I got this very fine um, ribbon in the pink. Over that side a minute. And on this one, I put it over the I just made a tiny little bow so let's do a little bow put them back in bring that one back in that's tiny enough and get my squizzes that okay put that ribbon back up there okay that's enough and I'm going to put that on there pop a little bit of glue okay and that can sit on there and that glue there Hold it a sec. Okay, don't stay. I've got to put it on glue dot. Hey yo. How stupid. Hey yo. Yeah, don't stay. I get my card base back. And turn that over. the glue on the back okay. and then make sure that's the right way up and then centre that there's a nice border that 
and there you go there you have the card so that's you've got that one we just made which is pretty and then you've got excuse me are cups now and then you've got that one and I hope you like that I love them I think they're cute something different I didn't have a plan when I come out here but uh yeah so I hope you like that you give them a go if you do please share and if you like what you see please give me a thumbs up and I'll speak to you all very soon stay safe wherever you are and have a nice day thank you for watching bye for now